All right, update. Cheating culture in Japan and Takashi from Japan has made a part two, so I figured we'd cover it. So before we go through with this video, there's a second video I'm going to watch with somebody who has thoughts on a lot of these street interviews and her thoughts <coughs> on the cultures in Japan. I heard cheating is common in Japan. Oh my gosh, that, that question again. So if you guys want to skip a lot of this portion and go straight to that, you can check that out, but we're going to do both. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. So today I'm going to interview Japanese women. Do Japanese women cheat a lot? We discuss about dating culture in Japan, cheating culture in Japan. Okay, let's get started. Mari no tomodachi? Jose no mari no tomodachi de waki shiru kata wa imasu ka? Inai desu. Inai desu. Inai desu. Inai desu. Machi bun ga. Yaba. Yaba. God damn. <laughs> Gosh. Gotcha. The first girl went nope. The second girl hesitantly went nope. And the first girl said, bitch. And then she said, okay. That's me. you! And she said, okay, me. ちょっと説明してください。好きじゃなさすぎて、その好きじゃない人と付き合ってる状況が耐えられなくて。どうして付き合わないといけない状況になりました。そもそも。いや、なんか状況っていうか比べてあったんですけど、一週間ぐらい
そうかもしれない,いやなんか日本ならではのなんか文化じゃないけどやっぱり有名じゃないですか,かその風俗とかっていうのがだから海外では割とそういうのがありえないっていうのはよく聞くのでそういう意味では日本ならではでそうなるほどなるほど、うん、風俗とかがあるおかげで気持ちの動きは少ないのかなって思っちゃう I like that when they say we have less issues with cheating. cheating. No, it's not that you have less issues with cheating, it's just it means differently. Whenever they say, oh,、uh, if, we, if we decriminalize all drugs, we're gonna have less people in jail. Yes. Because they don't mean the same thing and they don't get in jail for that. It's not criminal no more. So it's not less issue. It doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. It's just it happens and it's not as bad or viewed as badly. But it still happens. Do you think it's not as bad? 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 Do you think it's not え、知ってる友達いるんですけど、なんかやめた方がいいよっては言っても、仲いいから、そのまんまです。風俗に行くことは浮気かどうかっていう、どう思いますかイエスかノーイエスかノーで。ノーノー。浮気ではない。ノー。ノー。理由、理由を教えてください。嫌だけど、しょうがないかなって思っちゃう。<笑>え、しょ,しょうがないしょうがない。体だけなら、なんかそういう人もいるのかな。なるほど。なるほど。え、でも、全然嫌。嫌。It's not a, it's not a, but if I see something, it makes me seem clingy. I'm moving to Japan. I <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> jokes aside, it's, it's, I don't it, think it's clingy at all to say, hey, I,、uh, I don't want you fucking other people. <laughs> no, but, but the thing <laughs> that happened is that I don't it, think that's clingy. The mentality is, is, it looks different from here, but it's somewhat the same. Because a lot of, a lot, in a lot of instances, I've seen some people, it's like, yo, when they have the conversation with their partner, it's like, yeah, whatever, yeah, you cheat on me, yeah. But then the next question is, did you have feelings for her? Like, did you have feelings for him? It's the next question. So that, that way of thinking is, 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 is still there, where there's a difference between emotional cheating and. And physically cheating. If it didn't mean anything to the person, then it's less bad than if you actually fell in love with a person. But here's、emotional. the difference. Yes, I think people can denote the different types of violence that exist in the world. Yes. Agree. Yeah. The difference is over there, past a certain threshold or below a certain threshold, they don't think it's violence at all. Over here, we think it's all cheating. We、uh, just feel differently. Yes, 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 yes. Right? Yes, so yes, over yes, there,、yes. they might have a law that says anything other than a closed fist is not violence. So you got people getting fucking suplexed like an anime villain. Yeah,、okay? because it's not a punch. Because it's not a punch. We would still see it as, you know what I mean? So it doesn't make it better or worse. I, I don't、no. think it's the same. No, I don't think it's making it Because here, the number one reason for divorce is infidelity. Sure. And a lot of these countries, I don't know if that's necessarily the same thing. じゃあ、自分が重いって思われたくないっていうのを理由に浮気だとは思わないっていうことですかなるほど。嫌ではあります。いや、なるほど、なるほど。あの、周りにいますか周りにはいないですかそういう浮気とか不倫してる。まあ、男性でも女性でも。でいますか、うん、それは男、女両方。うん、どっちもどっちですね。どっちも、うん。自分の中で浮気の定義は、なんかどこになると思いますか隠したら。たらいや、同じですね。同じ。じゃあ、ご飯とか行ってても、相手に行ってなかったら浮気。そうですうん、隠してもう行きたいってなったらちょっと日本人の女性は浮気してる、まあ、不倫浮気してる人が多いですかどとそれかそ,そう思いますかでも多いんじゃないですかね<笑>でも男性の方が多いと思うんですけど、まあ、女性もいるかなっていう感じですね、うん、日常がつまんないんじゃないですかね<笑>なるほどつまんない、うん、仕事とかが自由じゃない、うんところが外国に比べて多すぎて日常に縛られてるみたいなちょっと解放したいみたいなるほどあ自分の友達が浮気してるのを見てなんかどう感じますかなんか言ったところでもう止まらないじゃないですか向こうはだからもう経験としてどうぞって感じなるほどどう思いますか結構話聞くだけだと楽しいから<笑>もっとやっちゃえって思っちゃいますね<笑>、はい I said this was the second video. I really wanted to pull this up because, again, I think I like to have balance. So, here's someone else. I saw a Japanese video about body count. Do you have really many Japanese women nowadays a high body count? I'm pretty sure you watched some of the street interview content. Some girls in Shibuya answering controversial questions like、uh, Do Japanese women cheat? But 
don't take it seriously. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of street interviews. It's fun to watch for sure, and then it has a value, but their contents, I don't really appreciate it because they are only asking people in Shibuya, which is like, it's not the standard. <laughs> it's not the Japan standard. It's not even Tokyo standard. Shibuya and Shinjuku is the most flashy, like super young. It's a very one-sided place. というか. Those creators can easily cherry pick those controversial answers for views and contents, you know? And then people will take those um, videos seriously and then think, Oh, Japan's like that. Oh, that's horrible. They really believe that way. I heard cheating is common in Japan. Oh my gosh, that, that question again. This is something I want to say. Especially those street interviews, right? Asking around very controversial topics to Japanese people, young Japanese people who are hanging out in an area that has red light district, like Shibuya, Shinjuku, uh, Osaka Namba city those places and asking around if they have cheated on someone yeah of course you are there to get that type of opinions right and those are the ones who take cheating lightly enough to talk about it in front of the camera okay all right i think uh, that's some good added context if you're in the red light district yeah, that's the reason you're gonna find people so that are gonna be more open about it in the big cities and stuff like that yeah. more than traditional people in rural places that makes sense so it's important to note that whatever views they may describe about japan based off where they're doing these street interviews it might not be actually reflected you need so, to get a bit more balance yeah absolutely I, i'm pretty sure there's probably some parts of montreal you can go to at certain times of the day we're gonna get a bunch of drunk young girls who're gonna be like eh, canada everybody fucks moose right and they'll say something stupid and then because <laughs> guys on youtube are like yo i heard that everybody in canada says a boot and fucks a moose no that just doesn't happen. No. All right. I've not heard anyone ever say a boot. Maybe newfies. Yeah, even that. But I just think a lot yeah, of these yeah. stereotypes based off these street interviews. I think, <clears throat> I would say this. I think street interviews in general aren't necessarily the best reflection of anything. Of, of anything. I think they're interesting social commentary and they give us thoughts and ideas. But as far as it being reflective of a culture, I think even for us, we have to give pause to be like, where was this done? Who are the people? What is the age group? Uh, did you select only for the answers you liked or did you edit out all the stuff that wasn't as interesting or spicy? Because maybe you didn't get the answers you wanted. It's good It's good to have like, to spark in, like conversation and stuff like that. But as far as like, where did you, especially when, uh, I don't know about Japan, but here, whenever you do street interviews here, it's mostly when people are going out to clubs, they're already inebriated. Facts. They already have some. So the, the, like, it's not even what they would normally answer. It's not even what it's not even them. Yep. It's a representation of what they are at that time and at that just just at I, that moment in their mood. I've done street interviews. Yeah. Most people don't want to do it and be on camera. Yeah. The kind of people who say yes are already a little bit weird. Or it's a little the, bit peculiar. You're, you're the, having a selection bias already right there. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to the location. The kind of people are showing up to those events and whatever mental state they yeah. are. It's nighttime. You know, they're with their people. There's a social peer pressure. Are you getting real answers? It's hard to tell. But I know not all conversation is worth having if it's based off a lie. Because mm -hmm. here we are sitting around our campfire discussing the merits of, of this or that idea all based off of lies. So uh, with that in mind, I'll probably link this in the comments of the original video that we did before. So people go check that out. But I hope you guys look at this and say, oh, maybe I don't know anything there is. Cheating is everywhere. It happens in all places. And it's true that in some places it's more accepted than others. Sure. But do I think the difference is not in date? No. Mm. I think there's just as much cheating here as there is in at any other place. And I'll say this. If there is a difference, it ain't that big. So no need to pretend like one place. Like all these red pillars are going to Japan hoping to find. It's not going to happen. <sighs> Y'all can sit back down. Okay. Anything else? No. All right. Let's know what you guys think in the comments. Are you saying that internet is not real? No, it's real. But? It's not everything you see is real.